Some students were confused as to what exactly the Fine Arts Gala was. This video was made to explain a little bit more about the event and how it will unfold next year. In this video, you will hear from several of the main individuals who worked to make sure that this event went above and beyond its goals. So, without further ado... What is the Fine Arts Gala? Fine Arts Gala is a compilation of everything that the Fine Arts program has done throughout the year. It's a chance for you to be able to come as a community to see what we've done and to showcase all the student work that has been created throughout the school year. Back at the beginning of the year, all the teachers in the Fine Arts Department decided we needed a way to showcase all of the talents of the students we had and to make it inclusive for each of the uh, different disciplines in Fine Arts. So as we set a program, we decided we use visual, music, musical theater, band, chorus, drama, and make a presentation. And we included culinary arts to do the uh, program and do the catering. How did and how long did you prepare for this gala? Well, we've actually prepared for this fine art gala all year. Um, most of what the visual arts has had to do is prepare to put artwork up the last about six weeks or two months or so. And we finally, the last week, spent a lot of hours getting it prepared and hung in the, in the uh, hallway so that it could be moved down to the main, uh, to the main hallway for the, ex for the exhibit. We basically started in band. We started working. We had a concert on Thursday night, which, and we did different music for Friday night for the gay one. So we started somewhere about March with the actual rehearsal for the event. Uh, we, you know, I'd been planning it since the beginning of the year. Well, I mean, the gala is really a culmination of an entire year. Uh, so the choir's been singing all year. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of what you've done over the year, and you just kind of do a little bit of it and you show it off. Um, they actually came up with the idea about two months ago um, and they wanted an Italian theme so we created the menu from there. What would you like to change for next year's gala? Well I know that the timing is one of the things that we will be working on. Um, this year we did it the night before prom which you know might not have been the best idea but it was the only day we had available so well, we got a few things up our sleeve. One of the things I think we want to do next year is to do a gallery walk and open the doors about 30 minutes earlier than we did this year, and we might also do an auction. I think that we can change, uh, rearrange the venue some and hopefully have uh, more tickets sold, have more people there to see all the great things that are going on. Um, we help, hope to offer more choices, um, hopefully to speed people through the line quicker, so some different um, menu options and things like that. Can non-fine arts students submit their work? Not at this time. At this time we want to keep it special and want to keep it within the department and within the program so that the students that are here will have plenty of opportunity to, to display. Um, and our kids have got, they've taken up a huge portion of the area so we want to kind of keep it limited and keep it special to that. How many people submitted artwork for the gala? Uh, for the most part, um, Every, just about every student in every one of my classes and Miss Jumpers as well. And finally, what do you think the crowd's favorite piece was? Um, I think that the most talked about and recognized piece at our part of the show was the piece that Audrey Nguyen created of the migrant mother out of rice. She sauteed rice into various uh, values and then placed each piece of rice on the surface to create that painting one rice piece at a time and it was definitely the most popular piece for us this year. Well for us we did the culinary arts um, and the lasagna came across uh, pretty popular as well as uh, the cheesecake. Everybody liked the cheesecake that my students made. I'm sure that it was North Winds Country at the end. They got to dance and everybody loves Rocky Top. Well there you go. The Fine Arts Gala was a huge success this year and it's no doubt going to be an even bigger one next year. We hope to see you there.